Storm's rolling in. Force their rods up. That should trigger their failsafe and release their coil. Found the first lightning rod. There should be a breaker nearby. Sleeping it will force their rod up. There's one. Yes. Staying near an active rod will protect you from lightning strikes. And if I'm not near one? Without a positive charge, the negative charge... Move it or lose it, kid. If you're about to get struck by lightning, Rico, just move. As fast and as far as you can. Move fast. Copy. How's it going out there? A little damp. You ever tried wrapping yourself up in your parachute like a poncho? Of course, that wouldn't help with the lightning. Sheldon? And this one is up too. Just one more to go. Jesus, Rico! You all right? Yeah. Fine. Found the last lightning rod. What is it? Coffee's too hot. Burn my mouth. But yeah, get to that console. Lightning rods are coming back up. That should do it. We'll get to work extracting the coil. Hell yeah, we did it, kid. Yeah, nice teamwork, Sheldon. Now find me a towel. You look cold. Work with me, kid. I'm living up to my end of the bargain. You and me? We've got a long way to go. How many deposed dictators later, and you're still the same asshole you were at 17? If I were 17, I wouldn't feel so banged up right now. You remember when you used to dress like a Mexican Johnny Cash? What's wrong with Johnny Cash? Nothing. There's nothing wrong with Johnny Cash. It's just not the most practical way to dress for a war. <laughs> Whatever you say, hula shirt. There's nothing wrong with a hula shirt. Hey, it's just not the most practical way to dress for a war. Give me that. 